हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आई टी प्रो रेली फैस्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट फिफ्टीन थिंग्स यू मस्ट डू आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग दिडोरा थर्टी थ्री नंबर वन अपडेट द फिडोरा वेन यू इंस्टॉल द फिडोरा फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम देर विल बी अ ग्रेट चांसेस दैट सम पैकेजेस विल बी अवेलेबल टू अपडेट बिकॉज फिडोरा ऑलवेज यूज द लेटेस्ट रिलीज ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर and those software have packages updates quite often for that purpose open your terminal and there are two ways to open your terminal or open any other app first one is to click on activities button or second one is to press your super key and from here just start typing terminal and here it is just open it and to update your fedora just write sudo dnf update what it will do it will update everything which is to be updated in your system now give it your password and hit enter and after that it will start the process of updating your system so it will take a little bit time so you have to wait for it to get it completed so now it is asking if you are sure or not because total size is 1.1 gigabytes so yes obviously we are sure so we will press y and hit enter now you do not have to do anything all the things will be taken care of by the system itself you just have to sit back and relax and wait for it to get it completed number 2 set host name by default my machine is called localhost hence i can rename it for better accessibility on the network for that purpose we just have to write a simple command in our terminal and that command is host name ctl space set dash host name and now you have to write the name which you want to set for your machine in my case i am going with fedora so just hit enter and now our name has been changed to fedora and now if i open my terminal again here it is and here you can see that now it has changed its name to fedora earlier it was local host now it has been changed to fedora so you can change it to any name as per your liking number 3 install wine wine is a software which is meant to help you run windows application under linux well most probably not all application may run as expected but still it is a useful tool if you need to run a windows program under fedora to complete the install of wine in your system just run the following command in your terminal and that command is sudo dnf install and after that just write wine and hit enter give it your password and now it is asking for the confirmation just press y and hit enter and it will download and install the wine in your fedora 33 number 4 install rpm fusion to install rpm fusion i am going to my browser i will write rpm fusion fedora 33 and just hit enter just click on the first link given to you from here scroll down and look for fedora and here it is which says fedora with dnf just copy this link and now open your terminal and in terminal paste this and hit enter and now it is asking for the password give it your password and hit enter now what it will do it will add the free and non free repositories in the system and from now on you will be able to download a lot more software from the software manager than the earlier so as you can see that it has started the process so it will take a little time so we will wait for it to get completed and after that we will be able to download a lot more softwares number 5 install vlc vlc is a multimedia platform which supports almost every audio and video format which is available out there it's one of the best in its category vlc package is included in the rpm fusion repository which we have just installed earlier to install the vlc open the terminal and write this command which says sudo dnf install vlc and hit enter now it is asking is this okay because 
total download size is 39 MB and after installation it will be 163 because it will get installed some other packages which are related to VLC media player so it is asking us if this is okay so yes this is okay so we will press y and hit enter and after that our vlc media player will get installed in our system number six install other desktop environment at the moment i am using the genome desktop environment in my system which is good one in case you do not like to use genome desktop environment you can install different other desktop environment as well on the Fedora workstation. We can install MAT desktop, KDE desktop, XFCE desktop, LXDE desktop and we have different other options to install in our Fedora workstation. So in order to install the one of your liking, write the following command in the terminal sudo dnf install at the rate of now here you have to write the name of the desktop environment you want to install i am going with xfce so i will write xfce desktop after that hit enter and here it has started the process of installing the xfce desktop and here it is asking is this okay or not yes i am sure so hit enter after pressing y so now we have installed XFCE desktop environment in our Fedora. So next time you reboot your system or you log into your system again, from there you will be able to use this desktop environment. Number seven, install raw and zip utilities. Almost every one of us uses the raw and zip file utilities, but extracting some of the archives require the proper tools to be installed. We can install the raw and zip utilities in our Fedora by just one simple command. And that command is sudo dnf install unzip and just hit enter. And now it says is already installed. So I have already installed it in my system. So just to be sure, just press your super key and write here zip. And here it is, which says archive manager. Number eight, install Java plugins for web. Java is a programming language which many websites use to display different type of data. To be able to load such type of data on websites, you will need the Java plugins for web. They can be easily installed by running the following command in the terminal, sudo dnf install iced-web space java-open-jdk. Now hit enter and now it says already installed. So I have already installed it in my system and now I will not have any problem while loading any type of data on any websites. Number nine, install VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a software through which we can test a different other operating system without uninstalling the operating system we are using at the moment. For example, as I am using Fedora 33 distribution, if I want to check other Linux distribution, I just have to install a VirtualBox and in that VirtualBox, I can install other Linux distribution and I'll be able to use more than one system simultaneously. To install VirtualBox in your system, we just have to run a simple command sudo dnf install virtualbox and just hit enter. Now give your password and now it has started the process and it is asking if we are sure that we want to install it with this size because its size is 171 MB after the installation. So we will press Y and hit enter. Now our virtual box will get installed. Number 10, disable searching. Genome by default is pretty heavy desktop environment. And one of the reason for that is it's indexing and searching. When we search for something in the system, it searches through all of the system. And while doing that, it looks in all the directory where it is not supposed to be searching. And because of this useless search, system becomes more heavy. We can decrease that burden by doing a simple setting. For that purpose, we will open our settings and in our setting, we will look for search. And here it is, just click on it. So now I can disable those directory where I do not want my system to search when I look for something. 
for example if i search for terminal and now my system will look all over the system to look for terminal but when i have these things off like i have disabled my contacts files my calculator my characters my clock and i can disable several other things so now when i will search for my terminal or my any other application my system will not search in these directories so it will result in better performance and quick response as a result this is how you can make your system perform faster number 11 enable the fastest mirror fastest mirror is a plugin which simply determines the nearest mirror available to you right now for example if you are located in canada then instead of downloading the packages from us it will try to find a mirror near your geographical location and make the download process faster for that purpose open your terminal and in your terminal write the following command which is i'm going to write now and that is sudo nano space slash etc slash dnf slash dnf dot conf hit enter and now give it your password and again hit enter and now here you have to add a one simple line and that line is fast mirror equal one i have already done that so just add this line exit from this file and now it is asking if you want to keep the changes so we will hit ctrl plus y and then hit enter and now we are done with installing the fastest mirror now we have to do one more thing and that is we have to write a command which is sudo dnf clean all and hit enter it says 850 files remove so now you will get the nearest mirror when you try to search or download something from software repository or you try to download some packages number 12 add accounts fedora enables you to access your online accounts directly on the system and add them when you first log in after fresh installation if you do not have done that at that time you can always do that later as we are in settings and here we will search for online accounts and here it is and now we can always add accounts here and we do not have to go to the browsers and from there open our accounts number 13 install genome tweaks if you are using the genome desktop environment then you should install the genome tweaks what it will do it will allow you to install more extension in the system and packages which we cannot do without it so i will show you the benefit of having genome tweaks in the next part for now i will show you how we can install genome tweaks just go to your software repository and here look for genome tweaks and here it is just open it and here you will see a button which will say install i have already installed it in your case it will say install so you just have to click on it and your genome tweaks will get installed so in next part i will show you an example of its benefit number 14 enable minimize and maximize button so let me open my file manager here and here it is if i open it and here you can see that we have only one button which is to close this window we do not have any maximize or minimize button by default in fedora 33 we get only the close button but as we have installed genome tweaks in our previous step we can always benefit it from so to add minimize and maximize button in our windows or in our application just open genome tweaks i will write here tweaks and here it is just open it and in here search for minimize and maximize and here it is as you can see maximize and minimize both are disabled i will just enable them and here you can see that we have two more buttons appeared on the top and no more right clicking on the top bar to minimize or maximize the windows number 15 plp for battery health management plp is a great utility to help optimize your laptop's battery this utility comes with various command line options to tweak and view reports about power consumption plp is so good that you just need to install it and forget it this doesn't require any settings or setup to make it work it just work out of the box after you install it with its default settings to install it just run the following command which says sudo dnf install 
TLP space TLP dash R D W hit enter and now it says complete and now to check the status of the battery just run the following command which says sudo TLP dash stat space dash B and now hit enter and here you can see that it is showing us the information about our battery status and here it says status charging so I have plugged in my laptop so that's why it says charging and here it says 89% charge and capacity is 100% so this was all about this video in this video we talked about 15 things to do after installing your Fedora Linux distribution so I hope you enjoyed watching this video please leave a like and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. See you in another video.